All right, y'all, it's Eric with Lion Long Care again, and today I have a new demo to show you guys. Let's get to it. All right, there it is, the Grasshopper 300V EFI, and uh, with a 61 inch deck, it has a 28 horsepower <clears throat> Vanguard EFI motor on it. And I'll kind of be doing a review slash comparison because uh, this is my mower, the Husqvarna MTT-52, and kind of making this into a demo series, I guess, because I did a Spartan earlier, and I'm just kind of on the hunt for what my next mower could be. So, I'll be doing some comparisons and pros and cons on the Grasshopper. Pros, uh, let's just go through the pros first before I get into the stuff that I don't like. Cut quality amazing actually i just cut this field back here let's see if i can get a good shot of it i haven't trimmed anything yet but so just look at the regular mowing it's pretty good uh i'm very happy with cut quality it's uh right on par or maybe even just a little bit better than the husqvarna and i love the cut quality on my husqvarna I think it does a great job um also grasshopper offers like five or six different types of blades that you can get on their mowers that are made by grasshopper um so if you're you know in florida or on the coast you can get blades that are made for sandy soil you can get there's they make ultra high lift blades they make a high lift blade they make a medium lift blade they make I think two different types of mulching blades like it's all all over the place and they you know so what i'm saying is is that wherever you are grasshopper makes a blade that cuts that grass and probably does it extremely well so really impressed with the cut quality probably my favorite part of this mower um some other pros is i think the power plant is really good very well fitted to this mower that 28 horsepower efi does a wonderful job um gives it lots of power plenty of grunt to get through the tough stuff uh haven't had any problems with it uh for the last i've had this now this is the third day that i've had this mower um, i've put about by the end of the day i'll probably have about 10 hours on it um the other good things about it are i like the um i like the hydros it's a little bit not a whole lot faster but a little bit faster than the husqvarna and uh you know it's very smooth operation and feel on the handles um there was one other pro i was thinking of but i forgot what it was oh i like the placement of the the gas tank the gas tank is right in the middle underneath the seat and it's a big like 10 gallon gas tank it uh or so you know i don't don't quote me on that and um yeah so cons are unfortunately a lot the design of the deck lift and the assist deck lift assist and the height adjustment is just not great um here's your height selector right here and you have like a little a guide right here that'll let you know where to put the pin now it's not held any in by anything except gravity so you just put that in and then this spacer is your quarter inch increment so if you want you know two and a quarter then you leave the spacer here if you want two then you take that spacer and move it back and then put the pin back and then when that drops it drops to two inches instead of two and a quarter i don't like that system um simply for the reason that i think it causes a lot of friction and this deck is extremely difficult to lift and when you lower it it doesn't it doesn't want to go all the way down it kind of just barely moves and then it gets stuck and unless the mower is running you know over some stuff or i've actually had to put my foot behind this and pull it down to get it to go all the way down it doesn't like to it doesn't move very freely i guess is what i'm saying um it's a lot harder to lift than the Husqvarna. The Husqvarna isn't that bad, but this is actually prohibitive. I've actually, um, because the seat doesn't move very far forward, I'm a pretty short 
guy. I'm only 5'4", five, 5'5", five, five on a good day. Um, so this is as far forward as it gets, and I still have to kind of stretch out to get this all the way back up. And I have accidentally triggered the seat safety two or three times, just lifting the deck, which is obviously frustrating. Um, oh, the other good thing, one other pro. I really like this design for the, the foot pan, foot rest or whatever. You just lift it up, and it's got these rubber things right here so that it doesn't scratch the paint very easy access to all the you know spindles and pulleys down here love that i wish every mower company did that i mean simple effective it's not annoying um also I, oh another pro in here is that they have a soft start system when you engage the pto it's a very smooth there's no jerking or you know belt squeal or anything like you get a lot with these other electric pto stuff and um very smooth starting you know you can tell it's gonna make those belts last a lot longer it's also built very very well um you can just tell it's a robust mower um unfortunately the way you can tell that is because the ride quality is not great there's no suspension on it uh it's a very bumpy ride. It's it's very similar to the Husqvarna, but the Husqvarna is also an entry-level commercial mower. Um, so I don't really expect for there to be a suspension on there. But now you got this EFI powered mower that's commercial, and it's you know I'm not sure on the retail price right now, but um, I just can't imagine spending more than what I paid for this mower and not getting any kind of suspension. It's just really rough. <clears throat> and like I said, that I expect it from this mower because that's what I paid for, but I can't imagine this being the same price or cheaper than the Husqvarna because it has an EFI engine on it and it's just built a little more robust. The seat uh, in, it, in and of itself, not that comfortable. It This is gonna sound weird, but it's too soft. Um, riding around in it for the first hour of the day is great. And then after that, you can actually feel, I don't know, you can see how soft that is. Like the foam is not supportive enough. So bouncing around all day on this seat, after about an hour, you get to feeling all those little bumps and there's, you know, springs or whatever inside the cushion, uh, bolts and stuff on the bottom. You start feeling all that through your butt and uh, seat is just not comfortable. Um, also, there's no storage on this you know which seems like a stupid little thing to complain about but you know you got this nice little storage compartment here a cup holder over there it's not a deal breaker but you know sometimes i'll take my keys out you know while i'm mowing and i'll throw them in there if i don't want to hold them in my pocket or i'm wearing a hoodie or whatever it's not that on here it's just not very um there's no creature comforts on this mower is what i should say also, the placement of the throttle and the, uh, what do you call it, parking brake. It's kind of weird. Parking brake is kind of tucked up underneath and behind the seat. It's, as is the, excuse me, as is the throttle, which is this lever right here. Uh, it's just, I don't know, it doesn't seem like a very intuitive design. Grasshopper did, a, did some things really well on this mower but a lot of the cons just kind of cancel them out. I feel like this mower has a lot of potential. Um, they need to, and this is of course my opinion, they need to kind of rethink the deck height system and smooth that out and make that more free flowing. And they need to, um, they need to change the uh, parking brake location. I mean, I don't know, it's just kind of inconvenient. And I need to put some suspension on this thing. Uh, suspension, I think, would actually make this mower a really good mower. Because of the cut quality and the power that it has. It's just... I feel kind of let down, honestly. And suspension makes a mower faster. 
because you don't have to slow down for bumps and that kind of thing. You can just keep going. And this mower could be a lot faster. Now, it is a little bit faster than the Husqvarna just simply because it has a bigger mower. And I, I think it probably has, just judging from feel and how it's riding, I think it has a little bit higher quality um, pumps in it. Hydraulic pumps, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Like I said, I don't know much statistic-wise about this mower. Just This is just from what I've been feeling the last few days. Um, if I actually own this mower, I would probably end up taking this off right now. It's just annoying because every time I load it in the trailer, I have to go get a bungee cord and tie it up so that it will actually fit in the trailer. Um, but yeah, so... However, I think this mower has a place. Um, I don't think it has a place necessarily commercially. I think this mower is for the prosumer or the residential client that has a big property that wants a really good high quality cut with a high quality mower that doesn't really care about suspension. You know, they don't, they don't mind having a little, you know, they don't mind having to deal with all the bumps and stuff, or if they have a, a leveled yard or whatever, this would, this would be a great mower. Um, is it for me? No, I, I don't particularly like this mower personally. That doesn't mean you won't like it. Um, but that's just, that's, those are just my opinions. Don't let me tell you what to think you know if you really are interested in these mowers i know grasshopper has a lot of really um, diehard fans out there and i think for good reason like i said the cut quality is really really good but um yeah don't hate <laughs> let me show you some mowing footage of this mower and uh, we'll be on our way Alright y'all, I just got home from taking the grasshopper back and uh, talked to the dealer a little bit and um, got some extra information that I feel like is relevant and changes my opinion on a few things. Uh, that mower is a $12,000 mower. Y'all, <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot recommend that mower. Um, for $12,000, you can get a lot more mower than you can from Grasshopper in just about every other brand. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Grasshopper, if you ever see this, that's, that's just my opinion. You guys need to step it up. That's... I mean, I mean go back and watch my last video about the Spartan you can get that Spartan for less than ten thousand dollars yeah I mean that's it's it's that Spartan is two thousand dollars less and has I mean so much suspension on it that it's ridiculous I mean it's, you can't even feel the bumps going anywhere it has it's it's a faster mower and it has like I can't remember if it had a 37 or 38 horsepower EFI engine on it and you want me to pay two thousand dollars more for a slower mower with less horsepower and no suspension guys come on well sorry just can't recommend it 